All right, folks, welcome back to Chicago 811. I got a stuck bank here. Then I gotta locate it. I gotta locate it that way, this stuck bank. And I have no access to get into this manhole to clamp onto the cable. So I don't have, a, I don't have an access point to get into this manhole. So I have to look for another source. To look at a print, find this manhole, double zero five, and see if we get a switch gear going into this manhole so I can locate through the stuck package heading that way. And then after reviewing the print, my, my hookup spot is way down there where that switch gear is. That switch gear matches the print that a cable is coming out of this manhole feeding that switch gear. So I need to get that switch gear there and bring the cable back through this manhole and hopefully there's not too many splices in here that I could go right through and continue locating this duct bank going that way. Let's go take a look at the switch gear. So I'm here at the switch gear and I got a lot of numbers on here. These are your disconnects. Each one has your dis disconnects or switches. Switch things over. So these, what are these numbers represent? So I'm gonna match what, what I did. I look for these numbers on the print to see which this switch switch matches what's on the print. And what I found was this number on the print. Coming down from a pole, way down there, going into the switch. So I know this is my switch gear, because this number matches that pole and this matches going into that electric um, duct bank way down there. So by me comparing the print and matching the numbers to the print, I know this is my, my switch gear. This is the switch gear I need to be on to locate the cable going through the, through the duct bank all the way down past that side and way down there, folks. All right, folks, here's the duct package right here from this switch gear. This duct package right here hitting the manhole 005. This is the duct we're trying to locate right here. And all these green lines indicate all duct packages. They're all power banks. This is a very high profile area that, that we're in. So we got we have to make sure that every all these duct packages are marked accurately. Because this is very high profile. So the O2S is not on the switch gear, so it's not labeled O2S. So what I had to do, I had to find one of these cables with a disconnect number, the one that you can't see up here, and match it to the switch gear with the numbers that's on the switch gear. And what I did, this duck down here going south was 3608. So coming from a pole, 3608 was going into this manhole. So that's how I determined that O2S was this switch gear right here because of this stuck package. The numbers right here on the side of the switch gear matched this stuck package. So I knew I was in the right spot to locate this stuck going to manhole 005. So you have to double check to make sure you're on the right switch gear so you're locating the right duck package versus some of these other duck packages out here. So let's get right back into the video, folks. So this is the number, these are the numbers. So let's go ground out. Boy, this ground's tough. Anytime I'm playing around with high voltage, I'm gonna ground out my box first. Ground out my box first. So if anything funky wants to happen, the box is grounded and I'm not grounded to the, the ground post, ground rod. Turn my box on. What I'm doing, clamping that to one of these bolts right here. 
and I'm pushing at 100, 24 volts, a little high, but still bull. Since I'm that close, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a sweep here, pass this manhole. It's congested area, folks. I'm gonna have a lot of resistance on this line, so my gang will be pretty high. Do my sweep. And I got a tone right here. I'm reading 12 milliamps at seven feet. So I can walk it out, and you can know how far away I'm from that switch gear to get away from the congestion. I'm gonna peek it out. Now when, when, you're, when you're down this deep, folks, you're going down nine feet, 10 feet down, over here, you can't really move fast with it because you can see how slow my equipment's moving because it's, it's deep. All right, so I'm inside a vault. This is a 10 by 12 by nine vault. So right here, I'm probably inside right now, and it's down 10 feet. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sweep on the other side to pick it up. And here's my tone. Good tone. Six feet. Um, good response. It could be better, but it's deep. So this is my duck right here. So I'm gonna walk it back right, see if it takes me right back in. Okay, I'm inside. The duck, so this is my cable. So see folks, I'm all in there by the switch gear, because this cable comes out, feeds that switch gear, so I'm bringing it back into this manhole right here. And now from this point here, I can locate my duck package all the way down. See, I'm six, seven feet down. Okay, at this point here now, I'm out of my extent here. Now I'm gonna peek it back. To verify my peak, I'm gonna null it back to make sure my peak is true. So you see how it gets high here? It's away from my cable. When it gets closer, the top grass goes down and the arrows turn. Now I'm away from my cable. I'm over, over the center of the cable, away from the cable. So you can see how my, 
graph is moving with the arrows. So away from the cable gets higher, over the cable it goes away. Goes go the other way from the cable gets higher, higher. You know you're away from the cable and back over the cable you're back on. I had a few videos that came out about peeking all folks. That's the best method, it's peeking it out and nulling it back. So that's what I did. I peeked it out. Now I'm nulling it back to see if my peak's true. If it doesn't know here, then we have to troubleshoot it. So you can see how excellent of a response I'm getting from no when I'm verifying my peak. I'm inside the manhole, folks, right here. I'm inside. So that's how I locate a duck bank. Because I can't, I have no access into this duck bank. So I'm going to find on the print what comes out of this duck bank to locate the duck going that way. And that's what I did. And I found it through that switch gear. I could bring it back through the, through the duck bank and get my locate completed. That's the best method. It's finding a hookup spot outside of the manhole and try to bring it back. And if you have no access to get into the, if you have no other access point but get into this manhole here, you need to contact the utility company to gain access into this manhole so they could be on site and clamp you onto the cables that you need to locate out of this manhole if there's no other access point. Alright folks, have a good day. Please like and subscribe.